Ferrari Cruz here with Black Tree TV, and I'm hit, I'm sitting here actually with Daphna Zyman and Randy Jackson. How are you two doing today? Good. 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 And they're actually going to be talking to us about their um, their fund, their organization, and it's CUN Children Uniting Nations. Correct? That's correct. All yes. right. So why don't you guys tell us a little bit about your organization for those who may not know about it? Well, Children Uniting Nations was the brainchild of. Uh, Hillary Clinton, President Clinton, I should say Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, President Clinton and uh, Vice President Al Gore and Tipper Gore. And the whole idea was, as you know, Hillary's was all about it takes a village to raise a child. And she felt that we needed to do something about our children, especially our at most risk children, which are foster kids. And, and also to grow from there to actually take care of those at-risk children who have got single parent, and from there to divorced kids, etc. So the idea was to kind of take Children Uniting Nations and make the world recognize that it is our children that are going to unite the world. But in order for them to do that, that we needed a lot, we needed to do a lot of work. And the main thing was to reach out, for each individual to reach out and help raise somebody else's child. Definitely. And you've been a philanthropist for a long time and a, a big Democratic supporter, and you've really been trying to help the community. And there are a lot of organizations you could have been a part of, but you chose to help children, which is the foundation. And uh, I, I really think that's very admirable of you. And what exactly does your program uh, focus on? I know you work with uh, mentors, correct? Well, as we looked, actually it all started from um, creating Adoption Day because what I recognized with my own child who I adopted from the system was that it took so long for these children who were adoptable to be adopted. So I couldn't understand that. So I, sta I started working with Judge Nash and uh, with public council and we created Adoption Saturday which is now Adoption Day across the country and I was really proud of myself and then Hillary Clinton said well that's nice but that's not nearly enough and she made me aware that what we needed to do is create families create permanent families for every child and when children are removed from their home it's not their fault, it's because of abuse and neglect. And then they're thrown into a system which is strangers at best, you know. So the idea was to bring caring adults who are not paid to be there, to reach out and help guide and mentor those children to become contributing citizens instead of falling into drugs and crime and human trafficking. Um, and the saddest thing is that 78.8% of all inmates in penitentiary come from the child welfare system. So the reality is that we need to come together to change that statistic urgently. Definitely, definitely. And um, I, I wanted to know, when you, when you deal with these children and when you pair them with the mentors, what are uh, key things that you have found that maybe they go through or they share with you, you know, through talking with them, um, some things that they've experienced with being in the system and being uh, you know, transported from home to home? Well, almost all of them. The one key thing, and the reason we're doing this huge event on Academy Awards Night, is because Academy Awards is all about giving awards for people who dream. You, you dream and then you create your dream and you make it a reality but it's still a dream and a fantasy for somebody else and that's the whole point is these children because they feel so hopeless they stop dreaming can you imagine what it's like when you don't dream and the other thing is that these children nobody even remembers their birthday they become invisible mm. people and that is unacceptable to me. So what we're doing here, and the reason that I'm so grateful to the Jacksons and particularly to Randy, because he's helped me pull this whole thing together, is 
you know, we're bringing attention to the very kids that we need to focus on first, not last. And so, Randy, uh, how did you become a part of this organization and, and pair up with your dear friend here? Um, Daphna, it's, it's her brainchild, and she asked me to be a part of it, and I'm just grateful to be here. Um, uh, countries uh, may have the differences uh, to the point where um, they may even rage war against each other. But one thing I think we all have in common is our love for children. And I think it is um, amazing that she recognized that. Uh, that's the one thing that we do have in, company, in, in common and one way that we can unite and help. Uh, I'm just happy to be here. And I, I know that um, you and your family, your brother, um, Michael Jackson, you guys have always helped children. You guys have always, you know, put, put yourself out there to really, really reach out. So are there any personal um, experiences that maybe you guys came across a child or something that you, you want to share with us? There are many experiences. I mean, I mean, I started in this business when I was eight years old, and I, rem I can remember going to visit uh, the cancer hospitals and and the kids there, and I would uh, stay in touch with the kids and talk to them, some of the kids who had uh, fatal Ill illnesses, and just to see um, the smiles on their face when you walk in the room. It really uh, told me a lot about why I was here on this earth as a young kid, and you know, we all walk in the room, these kids' uh, faces light up, and <laughs> so I'm just so grateful that uh, God has taught me, and uh, I can share my talent and my skills to make people happy. Okay. And I know um, you, you guys really focus on uh, finding mentors for these children. And I heard earlier that you don't really have a lot of black males that come out and volunteer and really uh, share, share their support. And so I want to direct this question to you and mm -hmm. find out why do you think that is? Why aren't black males really reaching out and, and, and giving their support to the cause? I think it's more that we need to uh, get the message out more than anything else and, and let them know that, hey, exactly. it's okay to do that. It's just a matter of that. Um, I think that by people like me and, and I challenge other other black males and African-American celebrities to kind of uh, mentor and, get, and get, get the word out, hey, that we, we're doing this and it's okay to do this. I think that would be very uh, positive and helpful. You know, as a matter of fact, Asha has just committed to join us and partner up in helping and Jamie Foxx. You know, Jamie Foxx came he's from... He's the party Yeah, he's but he's party. also, um, you know, came from that reality as a child. I just want everybody to recognize one thing. If you've ever watched a child being born, you gasp, you wait, and the miracle of creation is so amazing and you cry in awe, and then you wait for their eyes to open, and when they open, in those eyes you see the hope of the world. There is nothing sadder when you look into the very same eyes and all you see is hopelessness. And that is what this is all about. We need to call everybody to action. You need to reach out, become a mentor, whether it's an occupational mentor, if you're a university student, become an academic mentor. If you're not, you and, and you're an adult, a caring adult, become a mentor and teach these children life skills. At 18, they're thrown out on the streets, and they have no life skills, no education, and some of them are resilient, and they make it because one person says mm -hmm. one word that they think, wow, somebody believes in me. What I'm asking everybody to recognize is we are a family. We are on this planet together. This is our home. And we're all the same. We are all the same. But these children are not the same because we've turned our back on them. What kind of people are we? This is not about a charity. This is about a call to action. 